Hi everyone, or do I hope you're well? Welcome to another video. I am excited to talk about Facebook today or Meta platforms because they changed the name recently. You probably heard in the news that uh, they didn't beat their earning expectations, and the stock right now is absolutely plummeting. I'm always talking about. Uh, during our lifetime that we will have the opportunity to buy really good companies at good prices and this might be one of those cases and as you might know I am now making a new playlist where I'm showing my public fully transparent investment portfolio I'm starting from scratch so the bulk of it is ETFs but another part of it is going to be uh, me investing into individual stocks that I perceive them as undervalued and one of those picks most likely is going to be Facebook but if you haven't watched the video uh, if I shows it or not it depends I always like to share my own fundamental analysis of companies that I do so that in a few years I can look back and understand why I was investing in these companies to begin with and as always this is not financial advice so everything that you say me or do or say in this video Please don't take it as financial advice, take everything that I say with a grain of salt. Remember, we are both in different situations, we have different risk tolerances and just because I make one investment decision or I deem it uh, an undervalued stock, it doesn't necessarily mean that you should dump uh, your life savings into it. Having that said, let's jump into the laptop itself. And you can see here trading, trading view right now with oops, advertising. And um, you can see from the top, uh, Facebook shares and why is this it's been down more or less 40% and this is such a big uh, large cap that is even influenced the S&P 500 with this uh, drop it was not only Facebook Netflix also dropped PayPal also dropped and other companies like this and uh, Facebook is actually a company that I like financially speaking you might not like the company by other motives but let's just jump straight to my uh, Excel spreadsheet and you can see here that the revenue you can see here my cursor actually let me zoom in from 2017 to 2019, uh, 2021 sorry uh, the revenue has been absolutely exploding the average um, growth is 30 percent uh, so you can see here this is crazy crazy growth you can see also their net income margin is uh, on average 35 percent and as always in my analysis, I try to be as conservative as possible. Some people like to put some margin of safety. Sometimes I do that, but um, the approach that I have is to be conservative with my forecast and assumptions into the future. So you can see here that the revenue has been growing 35% uh, on average. And uh, for my normal case scenario, and if you're new here in this channel, I normally do a normal case scenario, a bull case, which is the optimistic case, and a bear case scenario, which is the pessimistic case. In my normal case, which is the one that we'll be uh, talking right now, it's 11% from 2023 to 2025 uh, and 9% uh, from 2025 to 2029. And you can see here that historically we have numbers above, um, uh, sorry, uh, above uh, 30 or 20 at least. And so I'm being I'm cutting their growth by half, and these expectations for 2022 and 2023 are more or less. Um, sorry, actually I should have put here 2024. Sorry, 2024 to 2026 and 2026, 2027. Okay. Okay. Now, now, now this is uh, correct. Sorry, and. Um, I assume this growth for, for this company because, as always, I try to be uh, extremely conservative uh, in the numbers that I do. And um, you can see here, my even my net income margin is 25%, when they clearly have here in 2017, 39%, 2018, 39%, 2019, 26%, 2020, 33, 33. So the average is 35 and I'm putting their uh, margin to 25 percent which is way lower if we adjust this for a rate of return of 10 percent i'm using 10 percent because that's the average from for the s p 500 and the bulk of my portfolio is an etf that is mimicking the s p 500 so if i'm investing into an individual stock i'm taking more risk but at least i want to have the same level of return or if the stock is under my valuation it means that my rate of return will be uh, slightly higher for that company specifically so the price the fair price is $255 and right now the company is at 2000 it felt from 300 more or less so let me just zoom in my computer is a bit slow 
So it was around 300 and right now it's 237. So this is a big company, it's a really well known name, even though they changed the name to Meta. 255, so right now it's trading above my low assumption. Of course, in my bull case scenario, I'm putting the revenue growth at 13 and 11 percent. Remember, their average for the past five years is 30 percent. And just because they've grown these in the past, that doesn't necessarily mean that they will grow in the future. And this is applies for everything. Even if I make good picks, stock picks today, that doesn't necessarily mean that my next stock picks will be better or worse. So. Past performance isn't indicative of future results. Always keep that in mind. Um, in my bull case scenario is $300 per share. And uh, I'm also decreasing a bit of the shares outstanding. Their shares outstanding is more or less 2.9 billion. And in my worst case scenario, I'm also diluting shareholders, diminishing uh, their growth rates, their profit margins or their net income margins. And the fair value is around 221 which is almost there. I don't know if the next following weeks will be uh, falling or will be dropping even more, but I feel comfortable at making my entry position at least for my public transparent uh, portfolio. Just a small disclaimer, I think I will invest in, in Facebook in other portfolios uh, that I have. And this might be a good opportunity. Unfortunately, I want to keep this, I want to play by the rules and I want to have a diversified basket of stocks in the beginning. This is too, still too early for me to go all in into one single stock, even though I don't think you should. There are a few companies that I deem in them as undervalued, but remember the foundation. And in this other part of my portfolio, those 25% that I allocate to other stocks, probably Facebook will be in one of them, unless the stock out of nowhere starts uh, in a bullish trend and it goes like to 300 marks. And at that case, I wouldn't feel... Uh, as inclined to buy this stock. Well, having that said, I hope you like this fundamental analysis. These are quick videos because I don't want my uh, other playlist to have super long, one hour long videos where I need to analyze multiple companies. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. This is just my public video log so that I can rewatch them in the future instead of just looking at some Excel, Excel spreadsheets, which is kind of boring. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.